So we are looking at the brand new base hero catch up Snyder. He's now 90 rated from 88. He's got five star weak foot, four star skill, medium low, five foot seven. Can play cam, center mid, or left mid. Now, the reason why I chose this card because he has five star weak foot with incisive plus. Really good statistics overall, like 91 composure is fantastic. Agility and balance is also really good. 95 long pass, 95 short pass, and even good finishing shot power, acceleration, and sprint speed. Now, in terms of play styles, we've got tick attacker plus as an additional, but he does have every other passing play style. As you can see here, dead ball and power shot with first touch. Now, we've gone for a hunter, and the main reason is when I use his base card, I obviously had a hunter on him. Time to upgrade your team. Head over to lootbar.gg, best and most reliable place to buy coins. Don't forget to use code NANIC for 8% off on all your orders. Once they have made their way through, the coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours, and you will be ready to improve any of your team. Like I said, the link will be down in the description and the comment section. Use code NANIC for 8% off and improve your team today. If we jump over to Footbin, you can see here when I scroll up, it gives him 91 pace and 94 shooting. There's the Evo card. You see plus twos and all his stats and statistics with the tick attacker overall. Now he's a 92 rated cam, a 91 center forward, and a 91 winger. We went for a hunter as the main reason to boost out our finishing because we are playing in our 4 2 3 1 system today. And in our 4 2 3 1 system, Schneider is going to be the cam in the middle of the pitch. And let's just see how we get on with Schneider today. So we are playing in playoffs and we are 8-0 at the minute. So we've got two games left. We're at good high elo as well. Schneider's main job to play is that Cam obviously been using him anyway is to be the assister, try and get some goals if he can. But mainly he's setting up the play. Now I haven't had a chance to use him with Tick Attacker Plus yet because that was the last thing we got when we upgraded. But what I love about Schneider is of course his weak foot because he can go left or right. Makes no difference. And now as you can see a normal A pass is a very, very accurate and very driven. But not only that, he can do these through balls into that space every single time. And unfortunately, Henri lets us down a little bit there. But that's what he's great at doing. Sitting in this deep roll here, driving through, and then that through ball into the space, even though he's offside. But that's how he can unlock the door from distance. And that's why we're playing him as a cam. And if he does get through on goal, which you'll see, he can finish his dinner as well. Or score a goal, if you don't know what that means. And he's a very, very consistent and clinical card. So let's just see how we get on. So far, we are knocking on a door already. We are in a 4-2-3-1 system with Schneider dropping us at Cam, as mentioned. Our opponent's got very good pass and pay. Right, let's go. Counter-attack. Schneider's dropped down for a minute. Not a problem. So as you can see, Schneider has dropped into that role, just in case you didn't know where I meant. The central cam there with a striker and a left wing and a right wing or a left cam, right cam. And we're just going to see how we get someone for us in this gameplay. Now we've made the change to so definitely pop him in there. Right, counter-attack. Let's go. Well, Schneider in between the lines. Can we find him? It's a lovely pass in. A bit of work to do against Maldini. Through ball in behind. Oh, nearly unlocked the door there. Again, very good run from him. Not the strongest you can imagine because of his height. But he can definitely open up the door with those passes. Right, here we go. Counter attack. Lovely hold up. Oh, nearly obered off there. Bomate, sorry. Getting away with a good tackle. Not the best pass there from Bernardo Silva. I need a bit better than that, buddy. Right, here we go. He's not left it dribble. Holding off against the strength. Now we can drive him forward. Right, we go space open. Got Schneider at the top. Schneider. Lovely cradle in. Holding off. Great strength. Fruble nearly found that space again. Right, driving in. Schneider making that run. We do find him. Mbappe with left foot or right foot pass into the space. Just holding it up. Find Schneider at the bottom. Keepers come out. Ball roll round. And a lovely goal from Schneider. It's been a very difficult game to break our opponent down. He's been very good defensively. Schneider with the 1-2 there, playing Mbappe through. Back to Schneider and a very good finish. Ball around the keeper and drilling it. Now, because of this high shooting of power, he can offer that for you, as well as having the hunter to boost up that pace as well. And you can really see how we're getting in behind. Now, we've been a little bit unlucky here not to get a couple through balls through to get the assist. But they're definitely going to come, especially how attacking we're being as well and how much space he can create with his passing. So our opponent has made some changes, and Schneider's on the score sheet. That's what we want. Great start. Let's go. Counter-attack. Schneider picks up the ball. Nowhere to really go. We've got to save it at the bottom. We've got Omri as well. Oh, nearly played him through. Schneider picks up the loose ball. Using that tick attacker to open up the space. Again, it's a lovely trait to have for a midfielder. Now we've got the door unlocked. Nowhere to go. Just slowing it down. Lovely dribble. Now Bappe down the bottom. Ah, oh, too slow. Well, Schneider with the space. That's not what you want to do. Sabio running through and a lovely pass. 
I've read time the shot because I'm a fraud and we should have had an assist there. The first proper ball through should have been an easy assist and I bottled the chance. But again, absolutely fantastic pass and run. Keeping that pressure on. Like our opponent has been doing very great pressing. Uh, you probably haven't seen that in terms of me editing the footage. But I can't get out of my half very often. And those chances we've got to be finishing no matter who that is. It's just poor from me individually. Choked that opportunity. But again, Schneider picks it up here. Love, he left it to Mbappe. He fakes it to a Sabio instead. Now we've got a Sabio through. And we finally finished that one. And this is what I'm saying with this left foot or right foot being five star. Looks like we're going to Mbappe. He plays it down the other way to Eusebio. And we get a great finish this time. And a lovely pass from him. And looks like probably a rage quick coming it is. So let's go jump into a second game. So into our second game then. So far, very impressed by Schneider. A bit unlucky with some of the passes in that game. But a good goal and an assist. Again, another strong team here. And he is obviously Evo in his Yaya Torre, I believe. I'm not sure which one that's going to be into. Maybe it's the same as what we're doing. But again, this card is so consistent with his passing. If you're looking for that midfielder who's going to open up the space, has good links to other players as well. He's definitely up there on the list. Just because of small things like this, a little passes into the space, opening it up. Now we can go left foot or right foot, straight through to Henri. Henri can't control the ball properly, unfortunately. But again, straight back in. Now we've got Sabia running. And you can see there the lines as we get a shot off badly. There. But you can see how thin he can play those passes and how well he can get through the, the gaps with them. Right, counter attack. Got Schneider running through here. We find him. Lovely ball. One on one. Keepers come out. Lovely ball roll. And the fantastic movement from him. He saw as soon as we won that ball, he was gone straight up the field. Fantastic finish from him. So that's two goals in two games. One assist so far. It's the first shot we've had in the first 10 minutes. Our opponent has been very good in terms of shutting us down again. You can see here, just can't quite get out of the situation. So I've got to shut him down quick. But Schneider has been doing very well in that role. As soon as I mentioned there, he loses the ball, but not a problem. And now we've got himself here. Got Bappe running through. Can we find him? Of course we can. Lovely pass. Gonna play it back to Schneider. Use that tick attack. I nearly fed it through the space there. Uh, very unlucky again. Let's go. Counter attack. Schneider again. The pinhead of the attack. Bit of skill to get past one. Past two. Lovely left stick. Nowhere to go. Managed to turn out of that situation. And again, fantastic hold up play from him. Now we got the attack. So hold it out for a second. Just trying to find a space. Oh, nearly curled that in. But you can see his left stick dribbling with that high agility and balance can get you out of most situations there. We managed to rob ourselves here of, of um, Modric. Drill it back. Into that green time, Travella. And a lovely assist from Schneider again. And obviously an equally good goal from Henri opening that space. But the work rate from him to win that ball and then turn around and do a driven pass into Henri is why I've been playing him as a cam. He does very good defensive work when you need him to. Wins that ball very often. But again, just using the skill to open up. Got Mbappe at the top. A lovely weighted pass straight into the path of him. Now he got ourselves an extra pass here. And of course, the Savio can't play that easy through ball into Schneider's path there to get shot on goal. That's half time. Two goals, or sorry, two goals in two games. Two assists as well. We should have had another one. Very unlucky, but you can see he's just sitting in that camera. He's absolutely controlling the game for us. Giving us so many opportunities. We should have buried this game a long, long time ago. Just been a bit unlucky. But in terms of skill moves, very consistent. Passing play, I love the most about him. Again, that's why we chose this card. As unfortunately, Henri didn't get through there. But even his tackle rate and the way he opens up the space in terms of defending an aggressive sort of more frontal position. And he's winning that ball up high for us and then being able to transition into attack straight away. Sabio back in to Schneider. Just wait for that run of a Sabio. Wait for the perfect timing. Nowhere to go. So we get to reset the attack. Schneider on that left foot. Oh, it's blocked. So unlucky. Again, lovely link up play. One, two between the two guys up front. Right out wide. Trying to get that counter attack. Got Schneider in the middle. Can we find a Sabio? We can. Again, very good tackle from Cannavaro. It was a foul, apparently, so maybe not a good tackle in the end. Can we go quickly? Oh, again, Cannavaro's there. This defense is so hard to break down. Right, counter attack. Bit of work to do. Lovely left stick dribble. Lovely ball in behind. The Sabio's got it all to do. No one ready to help us. We're going to have to reset. Schneider. Oh, it's gone to Mbappe instead. Now Schneider. Ball into Sabio. Green time and a lovely save. We can finally have a look at his set pieces now to see if Schneider's any good at them. And we already know he's 94, 93, 89, and 89. Now he's brought his keeper out. So what we're going to do here is call over somebody and then play it in short to try and get that space. We've got Schneider at the top. Can we find him. Back post. 
Lovely cross, but Sabre can't quite win it, unfortunately. And that is full time. Now, this may not look like the most craziest passing from Schneider, but I promise you we are a very, very high elo in that game. And he was the best player on the pitch with a 9.1, one goal, one assist. Exactly the same as he did in the other game as well. Had 31 dribbles out of 36, one shot on target, one goal. Yes, you could argue the passing wasn't the most consistent, but our opponent was shutting us down every single time. But he still got one assist, three key passes. He definitely should have had another assist, but Isabio would mess it up. But let's go jump over to Footbin now, talk about the card and much more. Now, if we quickly talk about this card and we go straight over to his base version, you're looking at extinct at 70,000 coins. And that's because of this Evo. But the one card I wanted to really compare him to was his UCL card. Now, it's 91 rated, so one rating less. He does have five star, five star, don't get me wrong. But Len, look at the price of the card. Now, if you were to consider if you could get Schneider for 70k and then spend 125,000 coins on this Evo, you have then got yourself a very similar card. You can see here only like less shooting, less dribbling. But the other stats are very, very similar. Apart from he has Tick Attacker, as you know, as an extra. Now, in terms of positionings, I found him best as a cam, to be honest. Found him way more consistent there. What I love about him is the five-star weak fit meaning he can pass with a Tick Attacker. The through balls get him into a space as well. And he's just very consistent. And if you do get him through on goal, you've seen he's so clinical. Especially with a hands run, giving him 94 shooting, 94 shot power, as well as 94 acceleration. Now, the things I don't like about the card is he's a controlled explosive, which used to be okay. But ever since the patch, it makes him a little bit different to use in terms of how he feels. Body type and height is something to be concerned about because he does feel a bit weak in transition. Especially even though he's got 80 strength, is a little bit of a lie. The card just doesn't quite feel like that. But I normally have Team of the Year Honorable Mentions Bernardo Silva there. But I think I'm going to run Schneider there instead. I think he's a fantastic card. Yes, you're looking at about 200k to buy. But if you compare him to his UCL card, and again, I know his UCL card is 5 star, 5 star. But if you don't care about skill anyway, this card is like, what, a tenth of the price nearly. And it's just so consistent. But as always, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, press that like button, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.